Hey everyone, welcome back to a North Texas Weather Center forecast and today what we're looking at is the potential for severe storms tonight in North Texas and we have an enhanced risk of severe weather across all of DFW. This does include the main threat for damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour and also a threat for some large hail and also a few tornadoes will be possible tonight. So there's going to be a lot to watch tonight. Make sure you stay updated with North Texas Weather Center on Facebook and Instagram for the latest. We'll also keep you updated here on Facebook as well with any live streams or anything that happens tonight. But let's get started with what we're looking at today. So there's an enhanced risk of severe weather for all of DFW and now includes Jacksboro, Bowie, and Mineral Wells. All three of those locations are now included in that threat for severe weather at the enhanced level. So that's a three out of five on the Storm Prediction Center's scale. Back out to the west and far western and as well as far southwestern uh, North Texas. There's currently a slight risk of severe weather. There's no marginal risk of severe weather anywhere in North Texas. So we are all under at least a level two out of five for severe weather tonight. So definitely be mindful tonight. Make sure you have a plan in place. Check out our website ntxweathercenter.com under the new story tab there's a prepare guide on how to prepare for severe weather go check that out it's also linked on our facebook page hail outlook for tonight primarily west of dfw will be where the main large hail threat exists and that hatched area represents a potential for two inch plus diameter hail sizes um, which might be anywhere from head egg sized hail up to baseball sized hail out of an isolated storm or two it's a 10 percent chance within a 25 mile radius in the hatched zone here in dfw i would primarily be watching out for up to golf ball sized hail but i would expect mostly just change sized hail if we do see a hail threat in DFW. The tornado threat tonight will primarily be east of where DFW is, but there could be an isolated tornado embedded in a storm, potentially anywhere in Dallas and Fort Worth, but um, I would expect that to be a pretty low-end threat tonight at this point. Now, unless something dramatically changes over the next you know, couple of hours, I don't think we'll have much of a tornado threat tonight. Take a look at the damaging wind threat. 80 mile per hour damaging wind gusts, or potentially even higher than that, could be possible in this region here. That's an isolated threat, but definitely be mindful that could be some pretty strong damaging wind gusts out of any of these storms. And I can't even rely on microburst tonight, so just keep that in mind in the isolated location again not everyone will see that i would expect the main threat though most of us will see some sort of gusty winds or at least damaging winds amount around 60 to 65 miles per hour out of a good amount of the storms that do roll through the metroplex tonight all right humidity out there as of lunchtime we're looking at dew points in the upper 50s low 60s it was originally forecast that the dew points would be a bit higher peak will be right around the mid 60s but that's still plenty of humidity for us to see severe weather tonight you can see down near college station the dew point is 70 so it's gonna be very humid down there today take a look at the future radar so three o'clock this afternoon we'll start to see storms popping up that will be near wichita falls we're not going to see any storm activity up until at least six or seven o'clock in dfw tonight so just keep that in mind closer about five o'clock you can see storms are erupting around wichita falls pretty stationary at the time i mean they're from three to five they will be fairly stationary in that region so not too much of a concern again for dfw then six o'clock a couple of isolated showers or maybe a thunderstorm could form down here in this region here and that would mainly be because of how much humidity is being lifted up from the gulf of mexico we might have a chance for maybe an isolated storm no severe weather is expected out of anything down to our south though so don't be too concerned about any sort of isolated storm that forms anytime between maybe four to six o'clock down to our south that should not be anywhere close to severe you can see a storm here near you know just north of the river valley any of those purples and whites those are the colors that you're looking at for the potential for large to potentially very large hail as well seven o'clock you can see the storms are kind of forming in a line not very organized yet but they are definitely starting to develop into a line right around seven o'clock this evening by eight o'clock the storms are moving closer to the metroplex close to denton county eventually by nine it's a pretty pronounced line of storms and i mean this is what we're looking at a very potent line of storms a lot of energy a lot of potential for severe weather as well along with the damaging wind threat and hail threat isolated tornado again can't be ruled out but i would expect most of this just to be damaging winds by 10 o'clock you can see that line of storms enters the metroplex weatherford getting you know really hit on by these storms right around denton county as well as collin county dallas county will eventually see these storms around 11 and eventually by midnight storms are still going through most of the met or at least the southeastern portions of the metroplex and into southern and eastern portions of our coverage zone and eventually by about two o'clock these storms will start to move out and we should dry out at least around three or four in the morning most of us will not hear any rumbles of thunder past about one but just keep that in mind there might be still some rain falling up until about two so definitely a lot of beneficial rain out of this make sure to stay updated with north texas weather center on facebook instagram and youtube for the latest we're all at north texas weather center subscribe to our youtube channel we'll be going live on both facebook and youtube if needed tonight hopefully i don't have to but if i do i'll hopefully be able to go live for you um most likely it would be between sometime around around 8 to 10 o'clock but if not uh, make sure to stay updated with north texas weather center for the latest this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all dense repair and birdies pro turf 